Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're in the wrong positions. No, it's okay. We're good. We started off in the wrong positions. Brian, you one should have been over there. You two should be here. Nice job, Brian, moving out to get the angle on that three. Good job. Nate, did you, Nathan, did you see that? Oh, got to have a whistle there. Good whistle. Good one. Good whistle. Uh, we missed a rotation now or a switch down here, Nathan, because we. So, Brian, when we start the game, the U1 is table side on there, yeah. and the U2's over here. Yeah. yeah, big deal. Yeah. So, so what's the yeah. You're in a great spot right here. Too many guys want to be way over here. You can't wrap anything from here, right there. Corey, if you look up at the film, notice your eyes went to the ball. You don't have to look at the ball go through the hoop. Your eyes need to be on the free throw, on the players. You watch the ball go through the air when you've got to be officiating the players, not the ball. Good, good, correct. That was a good one. Okay, Corey, good. I can. I did that to you before. I'm gonna stand right here all game long. Are you helping the ref? Yeah. Are they newer refs? No, no, but this is a camp for them. Oh, so I they've, see. Oh, I see. Th this is, they're getting evaluated. Ah, that and that's what I'm doing. There you go, Lou. Nothing there. Nice. Oh. Okay, Corey, you probably could have rotated Rotate, on that yeah. because the ball is way down low. Yep. Then you just saw the fall right here rather than him having to come in and get it. So now, Corey, this is the, fir the first of two, so I can talk to you. On that last one and one free throw, see what you just did? What are you doing right now? Looking at the ball? Watch the players. Don't watch the ball. Good, Corey, good. Travel. Good call. Good call. Atta boy. Good call. Okay, now Nathan, you should have brought those subs in because your table side and Brian's going long. And we had kind of two whistles there, confusion on who's going to bring in the subs. You can see it on the film.
We got all confused there. We had two lead officials for a while. Good call, Brian. Good call. Was that a good call? All right. It was a correct call. It was the correct call. When you have two hands on a player, it's, it's a foul. Oh, why? Good. on the film there, Corey, how you got ahead of the ball at the division line there and you were way on the sideline. Don't get ahead of it and then come to the ball, be more engaged in the play as the trail official there. First, put your hands up mm -hmm. way over there, right? Yep. Who do you want to communicate to right in this situation? Who do you want to communicate with? Him. Yep. So come in here until he's ready. Now he's ready. Now you're backing out. So, and, and do it hand to him, not over here, because this doesn't mean anything. Right. Do it to him. Now, you, I'd even come in a little bit. Step, we got one. One, one we're good. And this hand, because this you way. want to tell him. Your hand. Your yeah. Don't I'm tell, sorry, don't tell the, right the crowd. One. Yep, one. Now you're gonna now you're gonna back out two steps and you're right here. Now your count's gonna be down here. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Excuse me, partner. Again, Corey, watch your eyes go look at the ball. Keep your eyes on that shooter on that three. Get him, he's got him. They're checking the arrow. Yeah. Now, in that kind of a scrum situation, don't get stuck oh, here. Good. Go to, you know, just in case, and let at least two guys go into the ball, especially on a Friday night, you know? Right. Hey, Brian, that's, I mean, coming in and helping him on that one, absolutely. Okay. Double whistle, totally fine yeah. there. I, 
Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not because I saw, you know, I didn't what, know. Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, okay. Either one, you can have a double whistle when a fast transition like that. Okay. And sometimes because of where he was, you know, did he have the angle? You could right. certainly see guess, between yeah. the two players, absolutely. Ryan, you'd be here. Nate would be down there, but you don't have to do that. Okay. So, Corey, one one easy thing for you to work on, okay? Yeah. You have a habit of watching the ball. Yep. Yeah. When they shoot it, what, you know what you do? I'm taking my phone backwards right away. No, you they shoot it, you oh, watch the ball. Uh, and you did it on the free throw down there. You can see your head. Okay. Okay. So when I'm shooting a three, and yeah. you're watching that three go, and I get whacked, yeah. who's going to see me get whacked? Yeah, yeah, you don't. Yeah. The crowd will tell you the ball went in the hole. Yeah. Your partners can tell you the ball went in the hole. Right. The table can tell you the balls went in the hole. You know, they, you see that guy go up with a shot, you stay right there with your shooter. And when he's down to the ground and there's nothing, you can you can let yourself drift back okay. to the ball. Even on the free throw, when you're watching the ball, you watch yeah. it come through, you're, these two guys are whacking each other, yeah. you yeah. miss it. That's an easy, I mean, that will really make a big difference because you'll see that stuff that you don't see because you're, Coach doesn't know anything. Doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> stay up, Corey. Corey, stay up. Stay up. Because the press is there. Stop it. Corey, nice job. Nice job staying with the shooter. Good job, Corey. Nathan, if you look at that one too, your eyes go with the ball and didn't stay with the shooter coming all the way down to the ground. Don't watch the ball fly through the air. Nice call, Brian. Good one, Brian.
can't really do anything about that. Is that a sweat down there? Yeah. On the base. Whole side line. little thing for you when you score a basket yep. you go up like this you went that way okay what is that and what is like a foul that's a well, that's yeah. a team control okay try to go up because I used to do the same thing go up two okay now you're signaling so you're that we got down. two. okay yeah instead of coming down with a fist I mean okay. is anybody gonna give a shit about it no but it helps your partners know that you didn't call, you didn't call. The, okay. what did you just call right. did you call team control or did right. they, now they that know the sense. yeah okay Call guys. That's the correct call. Everything we possibly can to keep it in that corner. Ouch. Oh, that guy's seats and bounds here, sir. I know. His head was out of bounds though, coach. Right here. Hey Jack, Jack. Like, boy, set right here. Just help in the paint. Help in the paint. Okay, now out, now out, Jack. Now out, Jack. Right. Right. Foul. Yeah. It's just I think the condensation's coming. No, we just want to get to if we can get to 330, well, I think we'll be fine. I don't want to I don't want to do this on the floors yet because you're right. Oh yeah, then it's because I know where Ryan was downstairs, the, the air is on. So. Yeah, right, it's on. Yeah. Count, visible count. There you go, Brian. Corey, you bring him in, give him a whistle. You think about that, Corey, when the trail official is going to go long. And the center opposite, or the, the official opposite at the table has subs. But get a whistle, there's a travel. That's a travel, guys. You gotta get that one. You're gonna switch here with Brian. Yep. That was a travel, that was a travel. Yep, absolutely. There you go.
Good, good. Nice communication, guys. Nice communication on numbers of free throws. Corey, go up. Preferably, Corey, you, you go up with your left hand, outside hand. Okay, now we're pointing all over the place. Where was the foul? Where was the foul? Where was it? Should it have been on the baseline? Should it have been on the sideline? I got a mom here telling me that you guys missed that. <laughs> I didn't see it. I saw it. I heard it and I was like, oh, it's been another hard pick. Short. Oh, of course it's that. Corey, did you see that screen on 31? Did you see that screen there, Corey? Corey, did you see 31 come up and screen right here? Ins you know, you, you gave, flippered him out here. Your eyes got caught, you know, cheating a little bit over there into the trails primary when you could have got this, because this is this is what you want. And you want to pick up that illegal right there so he doesn't get that advantage. Sorry, coach, I'm right in your way. Outside hand. Count, count with your outside and go up with your outside. So count with your left and go up with okay. your left. Because if they, they need to see you, yeah. they're not gonna see this as well as they're gonna see this. Okay. So that it's visible that way. There you go, good job. Now stay, get back engaged in the play. Down a little bit, Corey, get to the C here. Now, get your eyes off the ball. Watch this screen that's gonna happen. He's got that stuff over there. Now, step down. There you go. He's got, you gotta trust that he's gonna get it. And think, okay, who's gonna screen, who's gonna do what? And then you see that play coming. You can take a step in so that you can now officiate that rebounding and then get back if you need to. Usually, because you're, you're a tall guy, you can take two steps and be in exactly the right position. Now, your left hand on this, right? Corey, don't drift up. Stay down at the free throw line extended. Officiate those screens off ball. Nate's got, Nate's got ball. Did we, were we aware of the clock? Did we signal to our partners that we're under a minute? Nine, it was nine. Did we, got, did we know we were under a minute? I went up. Okay, good, I don't, I guess I didn't pay attention to that. I just, went up, just I didn't see any echoes on okay. that. That'd be my bad. Well, it so should be all of us. Yeah. So in this situation, when the board, while it's mechanically, it's supposed to be the opposite table, it probably should have been me facing the board, right? In For terms of, well, you have the horn. Right, I've got the if horn. If you're table opposite, you have the last second. Right. 
So you're going to count something yep. or cancel something, right? Right. right. But remember, we always want to communicate we're under a minute yep. so that we get that. Uh, they're going to launch one. That Who's got clock? I got clock, guys. Now, sometimes the trail doesn't see it because the trail's got to play and everybody else sees it. Then hopefully you you know you pick it up. You can go up more than once. I don't I don't really like this. It just doesn't look real as professional. Just up like this. You can't over communicate, but you you have to do it in a subtle way so you still look confident. Yeah. You know sometimes when we're, we're bringing in subs, so I'm at the table. I'm bringing in subs. Guys, come on in. Come on in. Okay. Then when I'm ready, I'm gonna go like that, and I go two fingers, not one. Two fingers to my partner if it's in the half court. If it if it's we're going long or there's there are long ways of coming out of a timeout, you can't see the person's fingers. So then maybe you give this because this is a little bit of a weaker signal than a commanding boom. Now you look like you got your shit together and you're all in command of the game. I think you guys are calling a really nice game. Um, we did miss a travel down here, which happens. He kind of went up in the air and then he took two steps, kept coming back down. It, um, looked, it looked goofy from my spot because you were right behind me. But you're but not going to see feet. You but know, you're not going to go in exactly. from over there and call exactly. it in front of Brian. Exactly. So you just got to eat it, you know. Yeah. Both of you two guys, you did it at. Don't watch the ball fly through the air. It's a beautiful thing. Guy shoots a three, you're going like that, and he gets whacked. Keep your eyes on the shooter and, and in the free throw lane too, so that you can officiate that stuff. And. For me now, if I was if I was at a halftime with my my crew, I'd be saying it's a real handsy game. So let's say, make sure that we're consistent on what we call in the hands. Your mechanics are fine. We did have the one situation where we had the, that was the two me. leads. It happens. Yeah. But then holler at him. He did. Holler. He got me. Get him out of there. Yeah. All right. Knock it, knock it in, guys. I stand right here. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. Right there. That's the money shot. <laughs> no, nothing. You're on tape, by the way. You want to say hi? These guys are being filmed. Danny, who's that official on the other on the other court? Uh, the short kid over there. Oh, Peyton Kelling. I thought he had his WIA thing revoked. Like twice now. Well, I want. I'll tell you about it someday. Okay. Hey, I heard your daughter applied at Howard. Yeah, she got offered the job. I just have to tell you, because I was talking to one of the principals the other day, because there's such a... So you know Dad, okay? Yeah. Hey. They're super yeah, impressed with her. kind of milling it Processing right now. Processing it, yeah. right? Yep. Next yeah. 20, well, I guess Monday. Those are nice. good problems. Yeah. It's exactly. awesome. Okay, Nate, that's not your sideline. That's Brian's sideline. You have baseline. Brian has sideline. You don't call that one. Now give the ball to Brian. And let, good. Let him bounce it down. Good. Brian, you could take a step over on that play. That tells Corey that you, that because it was right in the transition area, that tells Corey that you got the ball and his eyes can go into, in, into another spot. That was right on the, the lane line extended. All right. Last out of bounds by the garbage can wasn't your sideline, no. though. Uh, Brian, yeah. you have the end line, right? Right, I did. Yeah.
Good, good. That's it, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. You don't think so? to be honest. Bounce it to him. There you go. I know it wasn't your call, but some consistency is Come on, Bob, let's go. Ooh, get a whistle. Nice. Okay, Corey, going with two. Going with your left hand and telling there's two. There you go. Excuse me, coach. You know, Corey, now you got right hand. There you go. Right hand, you're counting. Going up with the right. Good. Always outside hand. Where are you going, Steph Curry? Come on. Stick your landing. Two shots came right back. Good call, good call. Hey. Corey, you got subs right now, because he's long, you got subs, right? So, Tableside brings in subs every time, unless Tableside's going long. So Nate, Nate makes the travel call. He's gonna take the ball long. Brian's gonna take it underneath. There's subs at the table. You come out, bring your subs in. Your hand is to Brian. Hey, subs, come on in. As soon as you got everything ready, you point to him. You back out, now you're the C and off you go. So that we don't get, worst thing, we, we don't ever want six, right? And be real, come out on the court. Come, take command of these subs. Come on in, guys. All right, boom. Walk back, you got a couple steps, and you're there. You guys got this game. You're doing a really nice job. Now it's about, can you be consistent for the rest of the 15 minutes? Because then you're gonna, you're really, you will, will have really worked a nice game. But it's handsy, so that's that judgment and making sure we're the same. going. Let it become a playground game. Do we have spots out here where the floor is actually starting to splash? Starting to pest, so yeah. Long. Yeah, it's, they, they got air and I think there's condensation coming, so. We gotta stick with that call the rest of the game. If we're gonna make that one now, we gotta make it the rest of the game. Good right? Yeah. You're gonna mirror the chop, there you go. Outside hand, very good. Ooh. I think we're good there. That's a good pass, Brian. Good. No, I'm, I'm good. You can go, Corey. There's nothing there.
grabbed him. All right, why do we have a double whistle there, guys? Ball went out on Nathan's sideline, end line. He blows it, don't have a double whistle. Got to remember who has what for sideline. You can even put your hand down because, you, yeah, you're telling him. You're not, this is violation. Tell him, okay. yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Good one, guys. You don't need to give them all that explanation over there, Nate. You just call the foul, get out of there, let your partners talk to them. Call the foul, get out of there, report it, keep moving. Good job, Brian, coming with your outside hand. Good. Good job. No, you want it. Always outside hand. Yeah. Yeah. Do I beckon him in or is it table side? Table side. Okay. I like that call, Corey. This game's gonna get out of control if we don't get some of that stuff. And he pushed him, you're absolutely right. And you stayed engaged in the first half. In the first half, you would have watched the ball fly through the air and not called that. Now because you got your eyes off of it, you were able to make that call. Good job. Signal, good job. You can even now subs come in and just I'd come in here. Just give another hand up, and as soon as he gets all the subs done, now you're going to remind him of one. But get where he can see him because he's looking through all that shit. Yep. You're here. Okay, we're all good, one. Now I'm gonna back okay. out and then I'm gonna count here. Okay. And go up. Okay. I saw your clock was on my phone. Hey. <laughs> Not that I'm counting. Yeah. I could be one of those guys just sit in the corner and write I stuff down and not talk. Like I can't do that. Signaling, nice job with your outside hand. Hey guys. How many shots we got? Two? We got two? Yep. Don't hesitate, Corey, to come in even a little bit further on the first and then take two steps back just so he knows, then we're never gonna have a problem with that. Yeah, counting with the correct hand, always outside so they can see it better. Now you're gonna go up just one with this hand because you're signaling to him, one. Oh, we got a sub coming in. Now I'm gonna take my one down and I'm gonna go like this with my partner, just to make sure, because this is where stuff gets screwed up. Now I'm going one, now I'm gonna take one step back, outside hand, left hand.
Nice, Corey. That was a good one. Corey's got two calls because he didn't watch the ball play through here. Like the rebound ball off that free throw, he got it because he wasn't watching the ball. He, he put, yeah, it was great. You guys got this game. Nice step down. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't quit on it. Brian, your mechanics are really strong when you go over to the table and signal who is the shooter, etc. Really strong. Good pass on that contact, guys. Good pass. Now don't be looking at the ball. Be ball aware, but make yep. sure you got, now there's yep. really nothing, so you could take yep. a step in. Checking it out, now, now we're gonna be really engaged. Okay, good. Job picking up the bonus, guys. Now, really hit your whistle on that, Nate. Real, you know, good, strong whistle. Make sure everybody knows there's a sub so we don't get the ball going in too soon. Good job, Brian, communicating. Good job. call Nate it's either a no call or a block there's no way it's a charge it's a good call good signal that that the basket went in good job nice job Brian Okay, you know, Brian, since that kid was at the table that it's a sub for the shooter, so that should have been your whistle stopping it. Okay. Now we're good. He didn't have to blow his whistle. Okay. You should just know, he didn't bring him in, it's gotta be a shooter. shooter? Yeah. Right. Otherwise, he'd have brought him in. Yeah. Yeah. You are really good when you go to the table reporting. Very strong. You're doing a great job. Eyes off the ball, stay in your primary. Let him rough that. Do you see him looking, the center official here looking way right over there and he's got all this screening action. Get your eyes off the ball.
didn't call that shooting? Uh, okay. No, I don't think so. That's that's one probably you should have got that one. Yeah. I, I, Unless you were screened out. No, I, I yeah. You got it before I did, and I didn't want to double. Yeah, all right. It, so if I, you saw it, that's good. Yeah. I thought he was shooting. Why do we call time? Uh, I don't know, Corey whistled it for water maybe? Uh, oh, if he fell on the floor, it's probably wet. That'd be my guess. Hey, Dad. Tell your daughter good luck, okay? You bet. Thanks. Howard's Grove's a good spot. I know. I'm encouraging it. All right. See you, buddy. Nice. Nice call. Got to get that in the transition there. Good call. That's it, Corey. Good. Good. Nice. Taking so long. All right, you had the right call there, but we had a whole bunch of mechanical issues. I'm just talking to the tape now. Ball should be on the other side. You should be long, he should be C, or, or yeah, because he should have been on the other side. You gotta make sure we point to where we want the ball to go to off the foul. Drop down a little bit, get to the center. Now it's your ball, now it's your ball. Engage in that play here. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Good, good. He's standing right in your way. You got the... Most important job. No, not really. We're at 40 seconds. Good. Corey. We got two, Brian. Now guys, as you're, as you're thinking about this, you got a one point game. We're gonna be bonus and double bonus. 
be thinking about your end of game situations. What's the other team gonna do? Or are we gonna get a trap? They were trying to follow down here. Think about timeouts coming. Who's gonna call them? You got clock, Brian. Good job. Nice job. Oh, my water bottle. Forgot about nice it. Job. <laughs> oh, that, that that one though, I think was 16 that came around. You know, probably was a little bit, might have been a little <laughs> bit premature of a whistle on yeah. that. I 